Have you ever wondered how our solar system came into being? From the swirling chaos of gas and dust to the perfectly orchestrated dance of planets we see today, this is the story of the solar system's formation, an epic tale that took over 4.6 billion years to unfold. Around 4.6 billion years ago, the story began in a vast region of space filled with a giant molecular cloud, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium with traces of heavier elements. But what set this cloud in motion? A powerful event, possibly a nearby supernova, disturbed the balance of this cloud, sending shockwaves through it and causing regions within the cloud to collapse under their own gravity. This marked the beginning of the solar system's birth. As the cloud collapsed, it began to spin faster and flatten into a disk shape. Most of the material accumulated at the center, forming a hot, dense core. Under immense pressure and temperature, nuclear fusion ignited. Our sun was born, blazing to life in a burst of energy and light. Surrounding the newborn sun was a protoplanetary disk, a swirling mix of gas, dust, and ice. Over time, particles within this disk started to collide and stick together, forming small clumps called planetesimals. Through countless collisions and gravitational pulls, these planetesimals merged and grew, eventually forming the building blocks of planets. Closer to the sun, where temperatures were high, lighter elements like hydrogen and helium were blown away, leaving behind rocky materials. This is where the terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, took shape. Farther out, beyond what we now call the frost line, it was cold enough for ices to remain solid. Here, larger cores accumulated vast amounts of gas, forming the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, and the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. In the early days, the solar system was a chaotic and violent place. Collisions between forming bodies were common, and some objects were flung into the far reaches of space or pulled into the sun. Gradually, gravitational interactions led to a more stable configuration, allowing the planets to settle into the orbits we know today. During this period, the interactions also resulted in the formation of moons, like our own moon, which scientists believe was created by a massive collision between Earth and a Mars-sized body. The leftover debris from planet formation formed the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, as well as comets and other small bodies scattered throughout the system. The young Earth was a molten landscape, bombarded by meteorites and volcanic eruptions. As it cooled, water began to accumulate on the surface, creating oceans that would become the cradle of life. Life began in these early oceans with simple, single-celled organisms. These primitive life forms started a remarkable process, photosynthesis, that released oxygen into the atmosphere. Over millions of years, oxygen levels rose, leading to the formation of the ozone layer and allowing more complex life to develop. The Cambrian explosion marked a rapid diversification of life forms around 540 million years ago, eventually paving the way for the evolution of fish, plants, dinosaurs, mammals, and ultimately, humans. Our Earth, a tiny blue dot in a vast ocean of stars, holds the echoes of the past and the potential of the future. Understanding this cosmic journey helps us appreciate not only where we come from, but also the preciousness of our world. Thanks for joining us on this journey through space and time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating stories from Fact Hub.